Hello everybody and welcome to another Country Streak video. Today uh, I will be doing this a little bit differently. In the past with the Country Streak videos I have done very detailed explanations of each round and sort of my thought process. Um, in the last video I got a streak of about 65 I think and the video was an hour and a half long and I think if I want to try and get a better streak, which I do, I think it's not really sustainable for me to be doing sort of that format of video because, well, the videos are going to end up being like two plus hours and that's just too much. So I think what I'm going to try and do today is go through the rounds a little bit more quickly, maybe just explain them briefly so that I can get through them at a reasonable pace and hopefully I can get a good streak in a sort of manageable amount of time. And I think it uh, if it does end up being quite a good streak, I could do videos after the fact, uh, sort of explaining the rounds in more detail if people are interested in that. But yeah, that's how I'm going to do it today, and let's try and get a good streak. Okay, very Italian. Not much more to say. This is Russia with the black looking car way up there. Bavaria, that is not where we are. With the yellow plates, we will instead be in the Netherlands. Dot CZ, it's enough for me. And round five, low cam, we have Japan. <clears throat> Very straightforward rounds to start off. They will not all be that easy. Here we have pretty textbook Korea with the sort of Korean street signs and everything else. Ladder poles, this should be Brazil, I think. Interesting rock formations out there. But yeah, sort of South American feel with these poles has got to be Brazil to me. And it is. Hmm. This is. Yeah, okay. This is a tough one. I think it's Baltic. The Poles, I think, are either Lithuanian or Estonian. I'm not good at differentiating the two countries. Feels more Lithuanian to me, though, so I'm going Lithuania. Oof, and it is. Very nice. Here we have what appears to be Japan. Yeah, pretty epic location. Do wonder where this is. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. Round number 10 is Ukraine with the red car. It's a good way of differentiating it from Russia. Snowy and Cyrillic, that'll be Bulgaria. Uh, Left-hand drive. Thailand with the flags. I didn't actually check. I was close to the border, but it was, I mean, it was definitely Thailand. It had flags everywhere, so nothing to worry about. Uh, should be, I think, Denmark with the yellow plate on the commercial vehicle. Gen 2 makes sense. Yeah, I think it's Denmark. Very nice. Latvian poles with the sort of uh, alternating design. Very useful. 22 area codes are probably just Brazil. Black sign back, yep. 22 area code is this kind of area, I think. Close enough. And that's 15. Uh, Del P. 
Pilar. Wait, what? No, this is English, though. Oh, it'll be Philippines, won't it? With the English and the, like, Spanish-sounding stuff. I think it has to be the Philippines. Yep. Black car. Poles. South Korea. Japan. Easy. Uh, should be South Africa with the sort of Afrikaans sounding stuff plus the Gen 2. Oh my. It is, it is South Africa. It was a little close, but no worries. And we come to the first killer round. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. This is this is rough. Landscape at first glance kind of want to say Spain or Portugal. Orange roofs make sense. They point me towards Portugal, but it could really be either one. Yeah, but the houses look really Portuguese to me, so I'm going to go southern Portugal here. Oh my god. Oof. Wow, that was really close, but it was Portugal. And we survived to see another round. Guatemala. Easy roof rack. What does that say? Taika? Looks a lot like Bolivia at first glance. Uh, thank goodness for that black and white pole over there. So that's that means this is probably going to be Peru. I thought... I don't know why I thought Bolivia. I guess it's the white car made me think of Bolivia. Peru has white and black car, but I might have gone for Bolivia if it weren't for that pole there. So that's very, very fortunate. Uh, Gen 4. We appear to be driving on the right, so this should be Taiwan. Very classic Lesotho landscape. It's like probably like down here somewhere. Okay, why am I trying to landscape guess in Lesotho? Mistake. <laughs> Bollards with the little cap thingies on them are Austria. Yep. And that's 25. See, this is going nice and quickly, so this video should be of reasonable length. All right. Yellow dashed outside lines. Uh, yellow diamond sign. Got to be Ireland. Looks like a Dutch flag. Landscape looks very Dutch indeed. All right. We have a crossing sign. Looks pretty generic. That bollard is, I think, the Slovenia Austria one. If I'm not mistaken, the crossing signs in Austria have dashed lines on them which means this would have to be Slovenia. And it is. Crossing signs coming in handy there. This looks very Icelandic. And it definitely is. And... Alberta Bollard. Nice. Very good. That's 30 in a row. Loving how this is going. Let's keep it up. Oh dear. Okay, so this pole is going to be my friend here. So it's sort of ladder looking, which makes me think of Brazil. Um, I'm slightly worried about like, it can't be like Cambodia, can it? 
I know Cambodia has sort of similar poles, but I don't think they quite look like this. Uh, yeah, in my mind it has to be Brazil. Oh, it's Acre. That makes sense why it looks kind of odd, but um, Brazil it was. Ah, oh, man. There's another one that looks like it would be doable if there was any sort of clue nearby, but there's really nothing. Okay, so this one looks like it's going to be really hard. Because nothing is legible. Oh, no. Yeah, this looks very difficult. I'm worried here. What is this pole? It looks... I mean, it looks like one you would find in, like, Thailand or something, but this, this very obviously is not Thailand. Is that a French bollard? It kind of looks like one. It's, it's far away, but it looks like a big, thick, white post with a band on it. Definitely makes me think of French bollards. It could be southern France, couldn't it? I'm a little worried about, like, something like Spain, but... With the bollard, I think I'm going to go France. Nice. Got the region as well. Very nice. Love to see it. Okay. Glad I was able to get through that one. This is textbook Korea. Um, yeah. Hello, Dutch flags. Uh, everything here is in, in German, so that's a little bit uh, weird. Yeah, it's it's very clearly German language. Now, I need to be careful here. The coverage is Gen Four, so it's not it's not Switzerland. It's not Germany. So it would just be Austria, probably. I mean, Belgium does have German speaking bits, but they're rare, and I don't think they have Gen Four. I I don't know what's up with the Dutch flags everywhere, but I think it's just Austria. Yeah, okay, that was a little odd, but thankfully there was enough to make it doable. Spanish, not Portuguese. Do we have poles? Is it an octagonal pole? It is very hard to tell. This is just a wooden pole, so that's not helpful. Aha! We have an electricity counter. Now, I think these are the Mexican ones. Um, I don't, I think in the rest of Latin America, electricity counters, I think they exist, but they don't look like this. Um, so I think it's just Mexico based off of that. And it is nice. Lots of little things you can use. You just got to know what to use. What is this? Wow, uh, this is not easy. Are we in Spain? The sun is almost north, but that, that wouldn't make any sense. I mean, it's got to be Europe, doesn't it? Could this ever not be Europe? I'm definitely leaning Spain for this, but I, I'm worried it could be something like Portugal or Italy. There's no plate for me to look at. This is hard. Could even be something like Canaries or Balearics, but I mean, that would still be Spain, so. Looks like we've got water to the east. I think my highest probability guess, I think, is Spain here. Oof. It is Balearics, yeah, so that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that is Spain. So, Whew, that was that was a stressful one, but we are through. Uh, Sri Lanka, blurred car, yeah, plus all the usual giveaways for Sri Lanka. 
Speaking of Sri Lanka blurred car, here it is again, twice in a row. No complaints. This, uh, I think it's Malaysia with the double white line. Maybe. Definitely looks. Oh, yeah, that's a Saba flag, I think. Um, the state of Saba up here. I'm pretty sure that's the flag of Saba, so. Yep, very nice. Hello, France. Yep, not much else to say here. Oh, that's kind of an interesting place to be. But France it is, 40 in a row. Let's see if we can break the record here. Philippines car, black and white. Uh, definitely the best clue here. Cool. This is interesting. I think I think this is a yellow line, it's just the lighting is weird. Back of the sign looks pretty black. It's not like obvious, but I mean, is this ever anything but Brazil? I just, I really don't see this. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Use your head, car is black. It's not Brazil. It's not Brazil. What is it then? So I guess the back of the sign isn't black. Okay, time to rethink. What can this be then? Argentina, probably. Like there. Is this ever Peru? No, there's no soil that's red in Peru. Or Colombia. Black car with soil like this, I think it has to be Panhandle Argentina. I see no other option. Yep, nice. I almost put that in Brazil, which would have been extremely boneheaded because there's no black car in Brazil. But thankfully, I thought about it. Oh, what does that say? Reparacion. Okay, well, it's Spanish. And that is an octagonal pole, so it's probably just Mexico. I this is a little strange for Mexico, but I I know that octagonal poles can come up in Colombia, but I, I'm not seeing any yellow plates, so I, for me it's gotta be Mexico. Yeah, okay, good. There were just enough clues there. Okay, I am not losing to a USA Canada coin flip. It is not happening. I will not. Please don't. Uh, not like this. Come on. Not like this. I think it's just the US, but it's. Oh, it's so not obvious. I'm gonna go uh, Oregon. Nice, it is Oregon. Okay, I can exhale. I was a little worried it was up here, but it, it just felt a little more American. A little further south. Okay, well, the rounds are just going to be rude now, apparently. None of these are easy. Wow, what is this? Oh my goodness, I have no idea with this one. Is this Botswana? I, th I first thought it was like Argentina, but I think it's Africa. I think it's Africa. It's w really unusual, but I think, I think it's Botswana. I think it's just near Gaborone. I know that area looks reasonably similar to this. Yeah, let's go. Whew, okay. 
Getting through some tough rounds now. 45. Could use a freebie. Looks like this. Okay. Let's not take it for granted. Yellow cars on the yellow plates on the larger cars, white on the others. Gotta be Denmark, I think. Oh boy. It is born home, but that is Denmark, so we're safe. Yellow plates everywhere. Spanish. Colombia. Simple. Okay. That's German. It's Gen 2. Classic Germany look. Yellow and white road lines makes me think of Finland. Landscape looks very correct for Finland. Yep. And for 50, easy New Zealand with the bollards. Throwing me a bone. Love to see it. Oh, terrible guess. But 50 in a row. Let's go. Looking good. Let's keep this up. South Africa, Gen 2 in the road lines. Tlalpan sounds very Aztec. Nahuatl. Um, wow, that is. I've never seen a stop sign that color before. But Alto, yeah, does indeed suggest Mexico. And it is indeed close to Mexico City. Korea. Daegu. Why not guess there? Um, tons. T-O-N-S. I think, I think in Canada it would be spelled T-O-N-N-E-S. I hope. Oh, and yeah, these no passing zone signs I think are, I think are only uh, American, not Canadian. It is Pennsylvania. Nice. Can we get fifty-five? We have U.S. two eighty-seven, so I would say yes. I don't know where that is. Uh, if I cared, I would look for it, but I don't care. So let's just drop it somewhere. Panhandle of Oklahoma. There's the 287 indeed. 55 in a row. Starting to get interesting now. Bison. Aha. I was about to be like, hey, it's the US because we have this US outline here, but this these green and white signs are actually unique to Ontario, if I'm not mistaken. And see, the, well, there you go. Tons, T-O-N-N-E-S. It is indeed spelled differently. So this should be Ontario. And that was a bad guess. But Canada it is. And this looks like Korea again, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, classic again, little street signs. They're unmistakable. Atensao, Portuguese, not much more to say. It's clearly Portugal. Alto, we have no car meta. We have Mexican flags. We're in Mexico. And hey, good, got the uh, sort of Yucatan instinct. That's actually a really interesting place to be. Had no idea there was coverage here. I didn't even know this little peninsula existed. So that's quite a cool spot to be dropped. Can we make it 60? Red car? Cyrillic? I think we can. Nice. 60 in a row, very close to the PB. We are rolling. Let us continue. Indonesia. I mean, <laughs> Yep. Oh, cool. Way out there. 
Indonesia indeed though. Okay, so at first glance this looks evil, but I think it's just Argentina. I think southern Argentina looks a lot like this. I want to say the car is black, but it's kind of hard to see. But I just having a hard time thinking of any other country that would look like this. So Argentina it is for me. Yep, very nice. We are still going. Okay, we have a holy pole. We have white paint on the trees. And we have one of these little way stones. All of those things point towards Romania. Uh, Makaya, okay. Oh no. Okay, this could be hard. Do we have a car? No. Oh, but I think I think it's Chile. I think the poles, the sort of laddery poles with like the long segments. Um, I thought maybe Peru at first, but yeah, the poles look very Chilean to me. Um, actually, it won't be Peru because the signpost isn't black and white. Uh, and I. The other one that's possible is Bolivia or Argentina, maybe. I also think this little divot in the signpost is maybe also a Chilean thing. I don't know if Makaya is like a place that I can actually find just to feel a little bit better about my guess, but um, yeah, I don't see it, so I'm not gonna bot. Never mind, there it is. <laughs> Very nice. Love to see it. Okay. We move on to round number 65. And well, that's French. So hello, Quebec. And would you look at that? 65 in a row. I want to say that's exactly where my last streak ended. Let's hope we can get a little bit farther than that. These, I think, are just U.S. county road signs. I don't think Canada has these little county signs. So for me, it's got to be U.S. Uh, it is. It's actually Montana. Interesting. Hmm. So a yellow back plate. Oh, come on. Shoot. No, why is this the one that gets me? Why is this the one that's difficult? So I so we've got a yellow plate here. That suggests Netherlands or Luxembourg. But I can't tell which one it is. I don't see the plate on this car. This car, that's a white plate, I'm pretty sure. And it looks maybe red tinted. So it could be a Belgian car, which I guess Belgian cars could show up in Luxembourg or the Netherlands, couldn't they? But I think the Luxembourg is probably a little more likely to have foreign cars in it, just because it's small. Oh, but this is such a killer because like with the way the road is paved ah, I'm kind of tempted to go for Netherlands oh, I wish I could see more plates or any language would instantly give it away but I don't think there's anything I can read here this is so annoying just shouldn't be that hard but there's nothing for me to read oh crap I don't know which one to go for here it's a it's a pure coin flip I'm not good with architecture so I can't just like look at it and be like oh yeah these houses look Luxembourgish like I don't I don't know what the heck a Luxembourgish house 
looks like. And with the Gen 2 camera, it really could just be either one. Dang. Dang, I really don't know. Wow. Guys, I'm so stuck on this. I don't want it. I don't want to lose it here. I have no idea which one to go for. This is so hard. I keep, my mind just keeps swaying between the two. I don't think I have anything else I can use. I just have to make a guess. This is pain. I'm going Netherlands. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Oh my god. That was so stressful. Wow, wow, wow. I I that was such a 50-50. I I think I at the in the end it was probably like the look of the houses and the look of the sort of pavement that did it, but I'm just so unfamiliar with how that stuff looks in the Nether in in Luxembourg that it, to me it could so easily have been Luxembourg <sighs> okay I can breathe uh, that looks like Hebrew do we have yellow plates it looks like is that wouldn't the plate be up here hmm. well there's yellow somewhere long antenna black car I think it's got to be Israel and as a reminder, for the purposes of country streaks, uh, Israel and, and Palestine are counted as the same thing. And that's sort of just the norm in the sort of community. So I'm not I'm not cheating by <laughs> saying that Israel is uh, the same thing as, as the West Bank. It's it's it is actually all considered to be the same for the purposes of GeoGuessr. Uh, Bollard, please. Save me. I think it's orange, so that would be Lithuania. Poles definitely check out for Lithuania. I see. Yeah, the poles hard to see, but I th the the bollard rather. But I, I'm pretty sure it's orange. Nice. Very snowy out here. Bulgarian flag is definitely helpful. Uh, hold on, it's de definitely not a Hungarian flag, right? I always forget the order of the colors. Because I know Bulgaria has white on the top and Hungary has red on the top. That's definitely, no. Hungary, I'm pretty sure, is red, white, green. So yeah, it should just be Bulgaria. Very nice. 70 in a row. Imagine if we can get to triple digits. That would be so amazing. Now, speaking of Luxembourg, we have the bollards that are, like, gray. And that is a giveaway for Luxembourg. Is it South Africa? Can't really read that sign. Is it just Australia? Um... Hmm. Actually, not sure. This is interesting. Seems like I should know. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm actually going to get tripped up by this one, huh? Really? What are these black and white posts? I've never seen posts like that in either country. I just wish I could read this. But this, it looks to me like it ends in, like, 
Gort or something like G-O-O-R-T is kind of how that looks to me, which sounds very Afrikaans. But I'm worried I'm reading it wrong and it, it could just be some like Aboriginal thing like, you know, like I can't tell if it's like, you know, like Baka Gurt or like Waraguni or something, you know, because like the latter would be South Africa and the, sorry, the former would be South Africa and the latter would be Australia. Um, it just, it's so hard to read. I just don't know. I th I'm gonna say it looks more South African. Yes, oh my God. Oh, the stress. We're still going. Canada, let's go. Just kidding. Um, Tunisia, yeah, with the plates and uh, everything else. Just kidding, I wasn't gonna put it in Canada. Front plates on the bikes, probably Indonesia. I think that says RP, which would be Rupiah, which would be Indonesia. So yeah, Indonesia. Nice. Tunisia again with the sort of red and black plate to give away. 75. Ciutat de Vals, that is Catalan. And this surely is Andorra. Just want to make sure this isn't Spain, but it's a very typical sort of Andorra look. Ciutat de Vals, I mean Vals, Ciutat means city, so hopefully this is actually a place. If I can find a place called Vals, that will definitely ease my mind. And I can't, which is... Uh, I mean, Aixoval, Aixirival. Oh my god. So that's the thing, like... What does that say? I think that says Andorra La Vela, maybe. Carrere, something de Vals. Can I find that? Yes, Carrere Ciutat de Vals. Okay, we're chilling. I, I needed to make sure that that was not um, Spain. It definitely felt like Andorra, but I think there are parts of Spain that can look like basically the same, so I needed to be just really careful there. And I didn't 5k it, but it doesn't matter. All right, we're chilling on our next round. First vibe is definitely Mexico here. Yeah, I honestly have a hard time seeing this be not being Mexico. This feels like the northern desert parts of Mexico. I don't, I, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I was so certain. Oh, you absolute moron. You moron. Oh, it was actually the U.S. Amazing. Wow. I just didn't think. Let's take a look at that location. Is there anything here? I mean, this just looked so Mexican to me. The landscape is... Wow. Wow really the US. Now I don't think it was Gen 4. 
what I was seeing. I was seeing this, yeah. I just... I don't know if Mexico, like, doesn't have these black and yellow signs or something. Okay, can we not with the Gen 1? But I just... That's the thing. Like, I don't even... I don't feel that bad about that, because I feel like I was just always going to guess Mexico for this. It looks so much like Mexico. I mean, the, the lines make sense, like... Maybe the fa- uh, what are you doing? Maybe the fact that there was no antenna on the car? Like, I think Mexico often has a short antenna, but I don't think it always does. I think you can definitely get locations in Mexico that don't have the antenna. So I really don't think Mexico is a bad guess here. It just felt so incredibly Mexican and it still does looking at it now like I'm still surprised that this is the US wow that's amazing maybe I could have known that the poles weren't right but Mexico definitely can have wooden poles in addition to the concrete ones so again I really don't think that's much of a, a clue well if you're watching this let me know in the comments if there was something I missed this round, if there was something that really point, pointed me toward the U.S. that I didn't see, I'd love to know what that was. But honestly, I don't feel too bad about my guess. But the streak comes to an end. Um, crap, what was the streak? See, the, the counter works, but for some reason it doesn't do the thing where it tells you the streak between rounds. So I, I'm not actually sure what the streak was. So this is round three. So I got, I got one correct and then I missed round two. So I think the streak ended at 76. Um, and then that's honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I can't lie. I mean, that that's a that's a really nice that's a really nice streak. I can't complain about that. So, yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, Seventy six is absolutely my new personal best, but I know I can do better. So I will almost certainly be making future videos of this type because I want to break triple digits, and uh, yeah, I want to do even better than this because I know I'm, I'm capable of it. But for now, uh, I'm quite happy with, uh, with my new best streak. Uh, I hope that was fun to watch. I hope the video is of a reasonable length. I think it should be. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.